Hey, what's going on, guys? I figured I did the two videos on the other two MTD products, 28-inch uh, wide-cut mower. Uh, we went over the Cub Cadet, the Troy Built, and now we're uh, looking at the Craftsman. Now, the Craftsman is the cheapest of them all. Uh, it's $799. You do get one feature that is pretty cool. But you're getting two features that you're not. Well, you're getting two features that the Cub Cadet and the um, Troy Built uh, do have. Um, with the um, Craftsman, you're not getting the bag included. Um, I'll click the zoom. And check this out. Yeah, so you get a 9.5 uh, horsepower, 223 overhead valve, professional engine. Um, yeah, that's a nice looking engine. It's I, it's just the same engine that's in all three of them. Um, it's definitely a cool looking um, a mower here, man. It's definitely nice. It has the same, you know, it's called My Stride with the uh, Craftsman model, but it's basically the same stuff. Um, like I said, you don't get the bag with this for $799. I think that's kind of a, this would probably be the least one I would get, even though it it looks probably, no, nah, I mean, it looks just a lot cheaper, like in this area right here. If you can see where my mouse is, I don't know. Maybe it's just because the bag's not hooked up to it. I'm not sure, but I love the wheels. You guys know how I love black wheels. Um, you do get a striper kit with it, which is pretty cool, but. I don't know how good it works, um, you know, and you also don't get the electric start. So, you know, that's up to you. Um, we'll go over a couple of the features. There is a video on this, too. I want to let you guys know. Um, I forget the guy's name, but he has the unboxing of this uh, this craftsman. Pretty good video. Um, nothing spectacular, but um, like I said, 223, 9.5 five gross torque uh that's pretty good so i might have said 9.5 horsepower before but 9.5 gross torque foot pounds so i think the uh, mine the um time master is 8.75 so definitely getting a little bit more power with this one um you know you got the twin blade system you know same thing with the time master this deck looks exactly like that deck that um on that 33 that uh, Rene Romero uses, just a little bit smaller, but it has like that same look to it. Um, if you look at the video, you'll see what I'm talking about. This guy's video, not a, it's a great deck. I mean, don't get me wrong, Rene's uh, Cub is an awesome mower. He gets a lot of good, good work out of that thing. Um, you got the uh, ball bearing wheel, which is pretty cool. You know, single lever height adjustment. This is the one thing the Time Master is a pain in the neck. Because so you got to do all four. You know, it's just this single lever height adjustment is is great. I wish Time Master on the new model, if they ever update that that Time Master, this would be a good feature to uh, to add into it. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to let you know that this is the, like I said, there, there was a Craftsman model out. Um, it's been out for... A, couple weeks maybe even a month by now but you know pretty much the same as the uh it's, well it's not the same as the cub cadet because the cub cadet remember has the caster wheels in the front i kind of like this is more kind of like the uh, the uh, troy built model but with the troy built for 890 for another 100 bucks you're getting the bagging system and i believe you're getting an electric start with that one i believe so i know with the cub you are i, I personally can't remember but you see a lot of plastic here, um, up top here. You know, I'm sure it's fine. But if you were going to go, if, like I said, if I was to go with any one of these three, I would top, probably take the uh, Troy Belt. Um, I would have take, taken the Cub, but I don't like those caster wheels. But to each his own, some people might like it. But it looks like it's a pretty cool um, little mower. You know, you get the striping kit here, which is... You know, if it works, it's, it could be a nice little feature, you know, but I can also, and it also has a cool drain plug. 
Um, I don't. It, it was in the video. If you, if you watch this guy's video, just type in Craftsman 28 inch mower. Um, I'm surprised it didn't show you on here, but it has a, a a drain plug. It's right in this area. Let me see if it, it's, it's right back here in this area. It's an actual like long plug, and it snaps in over here it, on this one. You can't even see it, which is weird, but it's a long little. To, you know, like a, a, a tube, and it has a little, you know, plug at the end, and that's where you drain the oil. So you, you drain the oil right from back here. It's like this long little tube goes down, and right there, you would just, wherever you want to drain it, if you want to drain it over here or on this side, you have your choice of uh, where you want to drain it. So that's a cool feature. I don't think the Troy Bill and the Cup could that have that. You know, they all have different, you know, features on them that you might like the thing is they don't they don't put all the features on one mower which is kind of weird you know you know if they would put this on the troy bill this wrote the striper kit if they would have had that you know um oil plug i mean that troy belt would have been even better but they decided to put these two features on the craftsman put the electric start on the cub cadet so you know they, they mishmash everything but anyway 799 bucks if you're interested i'm just putting it out there for you guys um like i said there is a video out there if you really want to see it in action um or you can go to that website they have a little thing here you can press play and you can watch it and check it out but that's it all right guys i'll catch you guys on the next one i might be having a little a new addition to the fleet tomorrow we will see it's like 90% happening, but I don't want to speak too soon. But we'll see what happens. All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.